This is Ashley Fredrickson with Tabula TV. Today we are here with Sandra Hadlock, who is the organizer and founder of Tabula Running Club. Sandra, tell us, what made you even want to start this running club? I first started uh, a club out here in Stansbury Park, is the Stansbury Park Women's Club. Uh, just to get people out running, people really wanted to get out together and they wanted to have the commodity of having friends out there. And so it was just women. We targeted a race down in St. George, a half marathon, and we went down there, about 25 of us that went down and did that. And I took a few months off uh, to have a baby, and when I came back, there was a group in Twilla that had started to form but weren't really organized, and we joined up with them, and that was how Twilla Running started. So fun. So how often is your group running together? So we used to run every Saturday together as a group and then we've kind of tapered back to about once a month as an organized group run and then we have little pockets of groups that go out uh, whenever it is convenient for them. And do you compete in 5k's, marathons, are you training together or is this just for fun? It's really just for fun and you can take it as far as you want. We have people who run their first 5k with us and we have people who run marathons and ultra marathons and everything in between it's really just how much you want to compete and what you want to do we have members who run races every weekend and we have people who uh, have started their first marathons with us and everybody in between all paces and all groups of people are you looking to recruit more people and if so how can they join Oh, we're always up for new people, new faces. We are on Facebook at Twilla Running, and uh, we also have a website at twillarunningclub.com, and there is a form there that you can fill out, and it will send me your information, and I send out an email about once a month to everybody on my email list. So I know that you're also very involved in the community as a club. What kind of events do you guys do? So we have two main events that we do. In April, we do a Boston Marathon tribute run, and that's uh, in connection with the Boston Marathon bombings that happened in 2013. We get together that Monday at England Acres Park, and we uh, just do three loops around the park in memory of the three people who died in that. But we also, it's evolved into a, a celebration of those members in our club that have worked really hard to get to the Boston Marathon and so we get together we have dessert we have a good time and then the second event that we do is we do a uh, Thanksgiving run for the food bank and it's free for anyone who wants to come out Thanksgiving day morning at uh, 7 a.m. and we meet at Middle Canyon Elementary here in Twilla and it is a 5k a 10k or half marathon and it's free with the donation to the food bank last year we were able to uh, collect 2,000 pounds of food for the food bank and it's a uh, an awesome opportunity to come out we have great raffle prizes that people in the community have donated and race entries and all sorts of stuff we have a good time the biggest misconception is that we're all elite runners and we're not we're all just on a journey and some of us are a lot slower than others. I don't, I'm not a particularly fast runner. I broke my foot back in May and I'm just starting back. My true love is triathlons, but uh, I get out and I do the running because that's the hardest part for me is the running. And so uh, I'm able to channel this into making it more enjoyable. But the biggest misconception is that you're not going to be able to keep up and that's not what we're about. There's always somebody at your pace. It's fun to come out. It's fun to meet people. It's fun to, to run the roads here in Twila County. We have an awesome community for uh, doing recreation activities. And so come out and just give it a try. Uh, a couple years ago, we, we helped get um, 80 people to the Big Cottonwood Marathon and Half Marathon. And of those 80 people, 27 of them ran their very first full marathon, so 26.2 miles. And so anyone can do it. You can come out any pace. And that's the biggest thing we try to get across is that it doesn't matter how slow you are or how fast you are. There's going to be somebody that's at your pace. So I have a few of the members from the club joining with us. Tell us your names. Sabrina Rasmussen. Jana Roberts. 
Allie Warburton. Perfect. Um, so tell me, why did you join this club? I, I enjoy running. I enjoy getting out and a break from my kids. And I enjoy the challenge and keep fit. <laughs> Perfect. What health benefits do you feel you're getting out of this club? Well, as I've gotten older, I, I got to an age where I felt like I had to do something. And so I got myself into shape. And then my husband was involved with the club. And I, it just naturally came where I just started um, running some. So, Perfect. And has running always been something that you've loved? And have you been consistent with it? Um, I used to run a lot. And now I just had a baby. And so I'm just getting back into running. So we're doing a Couch to 5K program. We're going to be running the uh, Kicking Cancer's Can 5K here in Tooele, and so I'm excited to be able to get back and have some people to run with to be able to do that. Perfect. Well, this club sounds like a great organization. If you're looking to join, go ahead and click on the links down below. This is Ashley Fredrickson signing off with Tooele TV.